there is a lot of positive. If you look at the decline of costs of solar panels, for example, I mean, it's incredible in the last 10, 15 years even um, uh, that it can in many places already, not globally necessarily, but compete with fossil fuel industry prices. I mean, that's fantastic. And uh, there are positive uh, visions of that. I, I don't know the specific uh, paper, but we also have an estimation on Earth for All that we think the transformation will cost uh, between 2 to 4% uh, of, of global GDP, GDP annually. If you compare that with what is the NATO agreement on defense, that is 2%, right? I mean, so it is something that is, that is of course, um, a massive transformation, but it's also something that is possible, especially, as you mentioned, John, that that's the cost will equal out at some point, because we already see that, that I, I often say that, that actually the really radical political uh, uh, solution is to continue business as usual, because we, if we continue this business as usual, then we have the floods in Pakistan that already costs, uh, I don't know, hundreds of millions of, of, of dollars. Uh, then we have uh, kind of other droughts in many countries and uh, problems with, with food security um, and extreme weather events and all these things.